What's up everybody and welcome to Really Real with Arielle. I'm Arielle. You guys are amazing. And um, today I'm going to show you how to apply your Dexcom G6 sensor. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you what you're going to need. So basically, we're going to need our sensor. This is our Dexcom sensor applicator. This right here is the sensor part, and then this is the applicator um, that just, you know, attaches it. So we're going to need this. We're going to need our transmitter, um, and then make sure that we clean our transmitter so it's nice and clean. And then I'm going to need um, an alcohol swab to clean the skin and also to clean the um, transmitter. And then we are also going to need something adhesive. I like to use that. Um, I have this adhesive prep. Wait, hold on. Where'd it go? Let's focus it. This adhesive skin prep. Uh, so basically, uh, it helps for uh, the Dexcom adhesive to stick longer um because sometimes it just like raises up and it's supposed to last at least 10 days uh but then like around day three it's already starting to come off if you don't use like adhesive so I use that or I have like an alcohol swab that has adhesive in it so you can use one of those and if you don't have that I have something else that would be cool for you and and that other thing is this, I forgot what they're called, but they're like adhesive patches you put over your sensor. Um, so yeah, they look like this and it helps it. So you put your sensor through here after it's already attached and it helps it last longer and stay sticky, I guess, stay down. Uh, it's also kind of like, um, not white so it doesn't really stand out as much but yeah so those are the things we're going to need so let's get started doing the sensor something else we're going to need which was kind of obvious but um you're going to need your controller i have my um sensor my cgm uh, attached to my pump so i'm just going to use my insulin pump for that but there's also like the the transmitter, the sensor thing, the CGM has like a little device. So make sure you have your device with you. Um, so let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to go into my pump and I'm going to go to options and go down to my CGM. And then I'm going to see there's a button there that says start sensor. And I'm gonna go there and it says either skip or code and the code will be whatever the number that is on the um ah the like sensor part right here so just put that number in all right now don't press the check mark just yet because we have to get this thing attached to us first so set this aside. I'm going to just set it right here <laughs> like that, like so like that. And um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to prep my skin. So I'm going to take alcohol swab and clean the area I wanna put it on. So I'm gonna clean right here. Oh, my tube's getting in the way. All right, just let that cool off a little bit. And I am also going to spritz some of the um, skin prep, the adhesive skin prep right there, and let that dry a little bit. While we're letting that dry, I am going to clean my transmitter with a new alcohol swab. And then, we just got to let this dry um, so that, you know, when we put the transmitter in, uh, it won't be all stingy, if that makes sense. So after that, I'm going to take my sensor out of this thing. So this is the applicator and all its stuff. 
so we already put that coat in our pump so we're good with that so now we're going to take the sticky part off and make sure the spot we're going it's a little sticky so that's perfect that's the whole reason why we have that skin prep and so then we're going to put it exactly where we want it just pr press it down like that and we're going to take this orange thing off this is so you won't accidentally um press the launch button before you're ready okay so as you can see right here it's attached to my skin but we need the sensor to go in to my skin if that makes sense so that's what this button does so just kind of hold it down you don't have to press it down but just lightly hold it there and you're going to press that button okay and you're going to hear that sound and now it's attached and just lightly go over make sure it's sticking down good and then now we are going to take our transmitter and insert it in here you want to push it down until you hear a click all right so now our um cgm is all in your sensor is in so now let's go back to our pump or your phone or whatever your little device thing and so I'm gonna press the blue check to say yep the code is ready and then it's gonna ask you are you ready to start your CGM and you're going to say yes and you just inserted your CGM sensor and that's all you have to do. You're good to go. And as you can see right here, it's just going to think and try to process for three hours and then you will be able to have your blood sugars monitored. Oh yeah, and I wanted to show you how I put this on. So uh, one second. So basically, there see there's three perforated things. I got this pack on Amazon and it's really useful like i love it so uh, basically on the perforated edge i just take off the center part like so like that and so now um i'm going to put it over my sensor like that and then press down so it's sticking and then take off the other sides and make it stick down and there you have it that helps to get your sensor to stay in place and um, it's really sticky, it's really comfortable, so it's going to make it stay and it's not going to rise up and it'll last longer. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If this was helpful for you, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Don't forget to smile, sparkle, shine, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.